Okay, now I'm going to show you how to use your PSP as a keyboard controller for emulated games played on the PC. Now, this homebrew application was originally used to display your desktop screen onto your PSP, but I'm going to show you how to configure that in order to use the buttons that are used on the keyboard to play emulated games on the PC using the PSP as a game controller. First, open up your web browser, go to Google, and type in PSP DISP space version 0 0.2 click on the first link Click on the download link and download it to your desktop so it's easy to find. I already did, no need for me to download again. You should get this. And this is going to run a tad different for Windows Vista users, but it should work just fine. Next, I insert. Next, see next. Make sure you install it in your default hard drive with in program files. Install. If you window should pop up, that should be fine. Just let it do what it gotta do. And also you're gonna need a pretty good computer in order to do this as it does run my CPU a bit high and my, C my computer is doing something so my CPU is already high so it shouldn't run a little slow but it should work just fine now this is going to ask you to connect your PSP to your computer through the USB That's, give me a second okay I just connected it Now it should automatically pick for you. Just click on copy files. Should say successfully copy. Then that's it. Uncheck this box and click run DSP. Leave that check. Say finish. It should pop up at the bottom right. Right here. The next thing you want to do is go to this link right here. Pause the video if you need a little more time. Should take you here. Download it to your desktop. Just click on this link right here. I already did it again, so. No need, here it is right here. Now go to your my computer. Go to program files. And if you have a lot of programs, just look for just scroll down and look for PSP, DISP, go to bin, app, now the file we just downloaded, copy it here, say yes, now on your PSP exit USB mode, go to the game, memory stick you should you might you could hear it a bit and go to PSP DISP version 0 0.2 enter it
also check this site out it's a really good site it can help you with your, all your PSP related problems now the, um, the PSP display just loaded it's going to ask you to press X for USB or circle for YLAN now I don't have YLAN so I'm going to press X for USB this icon with the X on it sh the X should disappear Now to reduce the load on your CPU, change the quality to lowest, the update interval to minimal 30 ms per frame. Now on your control, just put Resident Evil 4. Now we're going to load a emulated game. This one is a Nintendo 64 emulated game, Project 64. You can use any emulator. Find its, find its control editor, and when it asks you to input buttons like this one, I click on it, and then I'm gonna click the left analog from on my PSP, which should be eight. The right analog, up, down, X, square. And it should go on just like that. I already did this, as you can see. C buttons, make sure you use the D pad. Analog stick, use the analog stick on the PSP. I'm going to play Super Smash Bros. and I'm going to use my PSP to control it. Now, again, it might run a, a tad slow because my CPU is already being used. Now this does not now it doesn't normally go this slow but like I said my CPU is being used. And you see and you should and it should be moving with your PSP. Now that that's done. A download link to the files I just used should be in the right hand corner. Thank you, and subscribe to me, and later on you should get a video on how to configure the keys the PSP use. And that's it.